What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Today we have another self-defense video for you guys. So every once in a while I like to do these tests with abstract, probably not ideal, but might work in a pinch self-defense tools. We've done them with nail guns, flare guns, slingshots, the list goes on. But today our weapon of choice is a flamethrower. Imagine if you busted this thing out for home defense. Now, before we get started, I just wanna say that, of course, this video is only for fun. Flamethrowers would not be ideal self-defense tools. While it could be effective to get a bad guy off of you, probably wouldn't be a wise choice for a million different reasons. So I just wanted to clear that up before the comments get out of control. All right, guys, this is the Pulsefire LRT from Exothermic Technologies, and it's one of the coolest flamethrowers I have ever seen. Also, one of the safest flamethrowers you can buy right now. It does run off gasoline, which we will talk about more in a little bit, but it uses an electric arc system up there in the front to ignite the fuel, so there's no open flame and no wasting fuel when you're not using it. A lot of the older ones you had to manually light, so there would be an open flame and it would just be wasting fuel even if you weren't shooting it. This one has none of that. It is battery powered, the battery compartment is right here, and you can use either straight gasoline or a gas diesel mix. From what I hear, gasoline will give you the better pyrotechnic effect and a bigger flame, but a gas diesel mix will probably give you better burning results because it's more oily and will stick to the target better. We'll try both. So these things are absolutely freaking awesome. I mean, just look at the thing, but how awesome is it? And how would it perform in a self-defense situation? Let's find out. All right, first we have straight gas. We're gonna see how far this goes. Then we'll try the gas diesel mix. I'm probably 15 feet from that burn pile, so. It got there. <laughs> I didn't think it would. Whew. The wind is blowing towards me and you can see it on the flame coming out of the front. <laughs> That's not bad. It gets pretty toasty behind it too. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right, the gasoline went a lot further than I thought it would. Let's try a gas diesel mix and see if it does any better. <laughs> that is crazy. I didn't think that flame was any less bright than it was with straight gas. This thing is awesome. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a quick breakdown on how this thing works and we'll just go from back to front. So on the rear handle here is your trigger and there's a red safety that you flip up so you can access the button. Again, it is battery powered. The battery compartment is right here. You lift this lid up and these are the batteries that it runs off of. And then to reattach it, you use this little thumb screw right here. Obviously the gas tank is here on the bottom and you unscrew that cap to put your fuel in. This black box right here is the ignition source for the electric arc. You can see the high voltage wires that go from the box up to the front. And that is what powers the electric arc. We have a fuel pump right here on the bottom. And if I flip it around, you can see the power switch right here. And then on the side, we have a voltage meter to let you know how your battery's doing. There's a big old heat shield right here in between the fuel pump and the top handle, which looks absolutely awesome. It's hard to say how effective it really is, but it definitely looks cool. And then there's a drip shield underneath the nozzle where the fuel comes out. And if I flip it over, you can see that on the bottom of the nozzle, there's a valve that you have to rotate 90 degrees to allow that fuel to come out. So pretty simple design, but very effective, looks awesome, and as you've seen so far, works extremely well. So I know these flamethrowers have been out a while, but I cannot be the only one that thinks this thing looks mean as hell. I have always wanted a flamethrower, and I can't even tell you how pumped I am to finally have one. All right, so flamethrowers would work for self-defense. It'd probably be a horrible choice for a million reasons, but we have two bad guy targets, and I wanna see how far this thing can actually reach. We're gonna start with the gas diesel mix. Probably 20 feet, I would say. Close. <laughs> I 
tank's empty. All right, I would say that was probably 15 to 18 feet because I started at about 20, took two steps forward, and that was good enough to get it. Also, there's a little breeze out here, so that'd be a rough day. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right, so the gas diesel mix went 15 to 18 feet, and I would assume that would go further, but the gasoline so far has been pretty impressive. Let's try straight gas and see how far it goes. Same. <laughs> that is awesome. To be honest, I don't see a big difference in the distance that it's going. And again, I don't know exactly the right proportions of gas, diesel. I do know diesel is stickier and burns hotter for longer, but they seem to be going about the exact same distance. All right, brother-in-law's gonna try it. Fire in the hole? Yep. That is crazy. <laughs> Did you see it spread? Yeah. See it spray the target with fluid? Yeah. Diesel was making it. Oh. Those guys are toast. Well, this is a self-defense test. And by the way, I am going to burn a zombie head. They're on their way as we speak. But today, our testing subject is gonna be a whole chicken. All right, we have two full chickens. We're gonna shoot one with each type of fuel so you can dial in your home defense flamethrowers and see which one works best. Let's see how long it takes to cook. I wonder if one tank of gas is enough to cook it. Whew. Are you gonna take a bite of it? <laughs> it's like chicken cooking ASMR. Yeah, he's well done in the middle. I don't think the legs and wings are quite done. Close though. <laughs> they really are pretty close. All right, the gasoline chicken burned for probably five minutes. Part of it's done, part of it's not. Let's try gas diesel mix and see if this burns any longer. Definitely holding the flame better. I just held it down and hoped for the best on that one. <laughs> you definitely can tell. That was epic. I think that chicken is cooked quite a bit more already than the first one. This thing is freaking awesome. Same exact thing we got with the first one, but this one is definitely cooked more. No doubt about it. That diesel just sticks to the target and keeps the flame going on it. Wow. All right, so you can actually see the difference between the gasoline cooked chicken and the diesel gas cooked chicken. Definitely cooked more on the diesel and actually burnt the entire thing. Whereas the first one is just kind of burnt right there in the middle where it stayed on fire, but the rest of it, uh, that oil did not stick to it like it did with the diesel. So in your home defense flamethrower, I would say a gas diesel mix is probably the best fuel. <laughs> now, since this is a self-defense video, of course we have to look at it from that perspective and go over some of the qualifiers that people usually look for in a self-defense tool. Number one is capacity. So I think we got about 30 seconds straight of flames coming out of this thing, and that is a lot of fire. Again, it's hard to compare to something like a firearm with a 10, 20, or 30 round magazine capacity, but 30 seconds of straight hot fire 
is pretty dang impressive. Collateral damage and innocent bystanders is another one that's very important, and this might rank as the worst choice of all time when it comes to collateral damage, because you know why. And legally is where this thing becomes a real problem. It would be very, very hard to justify using a flamethrower in self-defense in a court of law. And that is why, personally, I would never pick something like this. All right, guys, that is our first video on the Pulsefire LRT long range flamethrower. And I'm gonna be honest, this thing is even more fun than I thought it would be. It is freaking awesome. Hope you enjoyed our little self-defense experiment today. And of course, I have to say this again, for a million different reasons that I don't have time to list, a flamethrower would be a terrible choice for self-defense and especially home defense, unless you wanna burn your entire house down in the process. As we saw in this video, it worked flawlessly and it is very effective at what it's designed to do, which is burn targets and light shit on fire, not self-defense. Let me know down in the comments if you want to see any more videos with the flamethrower. We will definitely be getting this thing back out very soon. I have some ballistic dummy heads on the way and you already know we're gonna light one of them things on fire. So hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, let me know down in the comments and hit that like button for me guys. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.